Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new boss sim. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at quitting your do loops early. Now this will work for do while loops or do until loops. Now if you remember back, we learned how to quit for loops early. Now the same concept can be applied to do until and do while loops. Now let's go ahead and get started and make a little demo application. So we'll go ahead and select console application and we'll type this quitting do loops. Go ahead and click OK. So let's zoom in some here. And now let's go ahead and add console dot read line. Okay, so now let's create our do until loop. So let's do do until num1 equals 10 and then go ahead and loop now let's come up here and create num1 so we'll declare num1 as integer and we will set it equal to 0 so now that it's equal to 0 we're going to do until num1 equals 10 and we will console dot write line num1 so now what we're going to do is we are going to increment num1. So if you run this, it's going to give us 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now let's add a simple if statement. So if num1 equals 5, then exit do. So what this is going to do is whenever it comes down after our do until statement each time it loops it's going to hit this if statement right here and then if num1 is equal to 5 then exit the do loop. So since num1 starts at 0 it's going to run through this and it's going to be fine and it's going to equal to 1 and then it's going to go down and then once it equals 5 it's going to exit the do so our program is going to print out 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 because it's going to exit once it equals 5. Now let's go ahead and run this and you can see here that we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we can also do this with a do while loop. So do while num1 is less than or equal to 10. So if num1 is equal to 5 then exit the do loop. Let's go ahead and change this a little bit here. We'll do if num1 is equal to 7. So you can see here that we get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then it exits. Now what we can also do is let's say our do while loop is not incrementing by 1. So what if it skips the number 5? Well, what we can do instead of if num1 equals 5, we can do if num1 is greater than 5. So let's just increment this by 2. And you can see here that we're going to get 0, 2, 4. And now you can see that it stopped before it got to 5 because num1 was greater than 5. Now if we do it like this, then it's going to print out all the way and this if statement is never going to run. So go ahead and uh, make a couple do until loops uh, that exit based on certain conditions. You can do it um, differently than I did it. I encourage you to do that so you can learn more about the uh, programming. And then once you've got that down, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. And thanks for watching.